Hi, Mac, and anyone who might be watching episode 54, um, welcome to Grandma Day Reads Stories for Max. Now, today's uh, Spirit Day was dressed like a prince or a princess. And so, ah, Princess Leia, ah, plus it's purple, so that's for support of coming out day. And check these out. Boom. These are Princess Diana of the Mascara. You know, Wonder Woman. So um, today, in the spirit of it's still October, um, I've got this book by Bob Barner, Dem Bones. I found it. This The kids love this book, all of them. So we always thought the end pages looked like blood cells. Uh, they do, huh? Here we go. This says, um, this is funny, to Dr. Robert Wilkinson, who is frequently humorous, and my bony wife. Dem Bones is one of the most well-known and loved African-American spirituals. A song about resurrection, Dem Bones was probably first sung in church and at revival meetings as long as 200 years ago. As with most spiritual, there is an African music influence in the song's repetitive structure and humor. Passed on by word of mouth for generations, the song has many versions. Today, the song is usually sung by children as a way to learn anatomy, rhyme, and language. Here it is. Yeah, the kids, this is why they would love it. Um, it starts on the toe. And so you go down bones and you'd start at the toe. And then I would try to tickle their toes and they'd be like, hee hee hee. And then the next little, like the ankle, hee hee hee. And then you're like, whatever, your shoulder bone, hee hee hee. It was pretty funny. Here it goes. The toe bone connected to the foot bone. And then this says the foot bone, it's a little hard to read, but I'm trying to get closer. The foot bones are the basement of your skeleton. The 22 bones in your foot support the entire weight of your body. A built-in arch helps support shock when you walk, run, or jump. Yeah, that looked like mine when I broke my toe. Still working on it. It says the foot bone connected to the ankle bone. It says the ankle bone. Without ankle bones, you wouldn't be able to lift your foot when you walk because the ankle bone swivels. It allows the foot to flex so you can climb stairs, run, or dance. Ah. And the next says, ankle bone connected to the leg bone. See how it, the bone they're talking about is in red? It says the leg bone is actually two bones, the tib tibia and the fibula. The fibula, the smaller of the two, is located on the little toe side of your leg. You can feel the tibia at the front of your lower leg. It's the one that really hurts if you get kicked in the shin. Soccer. The leg bone connected to the knee bone. Isn't it cute, that little skeleton? The knee bone, also known as the kneecap or patella, covers and protects the knee joint. The knee joint works like a hinge on a door so you can kick, jump, squat, and dance. And it says, knee bone connected to the thigh bone. It says, the thigh bone or femur is the longest and heaviest bone in your body. The top of the femur has a ball joint that moves within a socket in the pelvis. Uh -huh. It says, thigh bone connected to the hip bone. The hip bone or pelvis is made up of six bones. Sockets in the pelvis hold the ball joints at the top of the thigh bones. The biggest difference between the male and female skeleton is in the hip bones. The female hip bones is wider and lighter. Noise. Uh, except for mine on this side is made out of titanium. The hip bone connected to the backbone. The backbone. You couldn't stand up straight without your backbone. The backbone or spinal column is made up of 24 vertebrae. The last four bones in your backbone form the coccyx, the remnants of a tail. The most important job of the backbone is to protect your spinal cord. That's where all the good stuff is. It says backbone connected to the shoulder bone. The shoulder bone, sorry, is made up of a team of three bones, the clavicle, the scapula, and the top of the humerus. The shoulder bone is the most frequently broken bone among children. The humerus rotates in a ball and socket joint so you can move your arms around.
It says shoulder bone connected to the neck bone. The neck bone is a continuation of the backbone or spine. It's made up of seven vertebrae called cervical vertebrae. These seven bones in your neck rotate this so that you can turn your head from side to side. Nod yes or no and wiggle your head in time to music. Next, it says neck bone connected to the head bone. The head bone or skull, it's a little hard to read on that black on dark. Let's see, I'll do it this way. Uh, the head bone or skull is like a box that grows. The skull, which is made up of 29 bones, is about 50% of adult size at birth and continues to grow quickly during the first year of life. Most importantly, the skull protects your brain when you stand on your head. <laughs> it says, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them bones, them bones, them dry bones, them don't bones, them bones, them dry bones. Hear the word of the Lord. Let's see how they're all the skeletons with the different bone parts in red, and they're all playing instruments. And it says, some of them bones. Here's, it says, when we are born, we have about 450 bones, but when we reach adulthood, we only have 206. This is because many of the bones, like those on the skull, grow together. This list includes just some of those 206 bones. And here's a list. You can come over and look at all those. Ooh, tarsals. Those are the ankle bones. Metatarsals are the foot bones. And the phalanges, that's the toe bones. But phalanges are also your finger bones. And what else? Oh, that's my alarm because I have a yoga class that's online, which is just about perfect since that's the end of the book. Love you and your bones. <laughs>